You've made gorgeous mosaic ornaments. And now you're wondering, what type of hangers should you use? You want something that will complement your mosaic design. But you also don't want to diminish the overall aesthetic of your work. So in today's video, we'll talk about selecting the best hangers for your mosaic ornaments. It's an important part of your mosaic design and one you should give careful consideration to. Let's get to it. Welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects. All to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. It's the holiday season and I'm doing what I can to help you with your mosaic Christmas ornaments. And this video is part two in an ongoing series here on my channel. In part one of this series, we discussed eight of the most popular substrates for Christmas ornaments. And this includes any prep work required, tesserae options, all of the acceptable adhesives for each substrate type, if the substrate could be grouted or not, and we briefly spoke about finishing off your mosaic ornaments. So if you haven't had a chance to check out part one yet, no worries, I'll include a link down below in the description so you can check it out once you're done watching this video. To access this information, you can click show more underneath the video description, that's if you're on your computer, and if you're on your phone or your tablet, you'll wanna click the down arrow to the right of the video title. So you might be wondering why are hangers so important? You tile your ornament, you grout it, you finish it off with a piece of jute or ribbon or whatever you have lying around in your creative space and you're done. I come from the school of thought where I feel like the hangers for your mosaic ornaments deserve more of your time and attention and I haven't even seen your ornaments. Now, having said that, ribbon or jute might be the perfect hanger for your mosaic ornament. But was that material what you had in mind? Did you give it some thought or was it just what was lying around in your creative space? Guilty, I've certainly done that, especially when I was first getting started in mosaic. But more and more as I get deeper into my mosaic career, the hanger is so important to the overall mosaic ornament. And I try to put a lot of thought into the material that I'm gonna use. I try to match or purposely contrast the material hanger to the actual ornament and tesserae. And if you didn't know already, I've made hundreds of mosaic ornaments, some of which I've shared in tutorials here on my channel, and I'll include a link to the playlist down below in the description so you can check them out and get inspired. The point of this video is for you to consider the hanger on your ornament as an extension to your mosaic design. You don't want your hanger to distract from your ornament. You want it to complement the design, whatever that means to you. And even further to that point, a hanger that looks and feels cheap diminishes the overall look of your mosaic ornament. I'm just being honest. You've spent hours designing, tiling, and grouting your ornaments. Don't cheapen them with a basic hanger. I recently checked out ornaments at large box stores here in my area, which is Miami, 
and the hanger situation was pretty blah. Now, of course, these are all mass-produced items, but the hangers are so basic. And you can see that the overall theme of these mass-produced ornaments is that they all pretty much are hanging from the same material. So most of the ornaments hung from a thin, cheap, metallic thread or jute. Now, I'll admit that jute was the perfect hanger for some of these ornaments. They were rustic in design, and the jute complemented the feel of the ornaments perfectly. But the metallic thread on so many commercial ornaments is so cheap and overused. Your mosaic artwork is one of a kind and stands out from the run-of-the-mill commercial ornaments, and so should your hanger. So in this video, we'll go over some easy hanger ideas for your mosaic ornaments. They don't require a lot of expense or time, and they'll really elevate your ornaments. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. I'll quickly go over some hanger options that might work well for the mosaic ornaments you're creating, and I'll also include a list and links down below in the description so you can get a closer look. First on the list is wire. Wire is really versatile because it comes in a variety of colors, materials, and gauges. In case you aren't familiar, wire gauge determines a wire's thickness. The higher the number, the thinner the gauge, or the easier the wire is for you to bend and twist it. The lower the gauge number, the thicker the wire is and the harder it is for you to bend and twist it. I've used wire on a few ornaments where I thought it either added an industrial or rustic feel, or the mosaics were a little heavy, so to speak, and I wanted a stiffer hanger like wire for them. And because the wire comes in so many colors, it's easy to find one that coordinates nicely with your tesserae or grout. I'll talk a little later in the video about how you can use wire along with some other items when creating a hanger for your mosaic ornaments. The next option on our list is cord. This could be metallic or not, and I personally like to use cord, especially the fancier metallic options like what you see here. There are a variety of colors and thicknesses available. Now keep in mind, some cords, especially the metallic options, can be stiff, which makes it difficult to tie a knot or a bow. Plus, all of those metallic strands that come together to create the cord can start to fray or go a little haywire as it's being handled a lot. It's just something to keep in mind. So once I'm done creating a hanger, I'll trim up the ends to clean them up. Which means you might want to start with a longer piece than what you'll actually need or end up with. But sometimes that cord stiffness can work out for your ornament, especially if it's a heavier one. If you do want to use cord as a hanger, make sure the hole in your substrate is big enough before you begin tiling. The next two options I grouped together since they're very similar, and that's jute and rope. Heck, I'll even throw in hemp cord as another option. All of these are earthy, rustic, and can be bulky. So again, make sure the hole in your substrate is big enough to accommodate the jute or rope before you begin tiling. 
I've used a few of these with my ornaments way back in the day, and to be honest, I wasn't a fan of the end result. And in looking back, I wished I had used something else. Rustic was not the vibe I was going for. All of these options are pretty inexpensive and come in a variety of thicknesses and colors. At least the rope and the hemp come in different colors. I grouped the next two items together since they're rather similar. And they are yarn and embroidery floss. Yarn comes in so many options from the material it's made from and the vast amount of colors and even thicknesses. If you're using thinner yarn, you might even be able to twist or braid multiple strands together to create a really interesting hanger. And if you can crochet or knit, you might be able to create a handmade hanger for your mosaic work. The only crochet I learned from my nanny was something I think was called a chain stitch. Check me down in the comments if you know how to crochet. Am I correct that that's a chain stitch? But I think a handmade hanger like that would be a fun contrast to the hard materials of mosaic. And then there's embroidery floss, which is super thin and also comes in some really gorgeous colors. Again, you could use multiple strands to create a really interesting hanger. I like to use the metallic varieties of embroidery floss to add a little extra sparkle to an ornament. How fun would it be to mix a few strands of yarn with a few strands of embroidery floss? What visual interest? That would be a gorgeous ornament hanger. You could even use yarn or embroidery floss to create extra embellishments like mini tassels to your ornament hanger. And we'll talk more about embellishments later in this video. The next hanger option is raffia. Now this is from a plant, the raffia palm. You'll often find it in thick pieces like this and it's pretty sturdy to use as a hanger. It comes in a huge variety of colors. Now, the downside is that sometimes it can be pretty thick and stiff, making it difficult to knot or tie in a bow. And sometimes it's very thin, which makes it not very sturdy or a suitable material for ornaments to hang from, especially if they're a little heavier ornament, so to speak. You can thin out thicker pieces of raffia by peeling away and separating the layers. Raffia would definitely give an earthy, eco feel to mosaic ornaments. Now keep in mind that because raffia is a natural product, it might break down over time, as opposed to some of the other hanger options we've discussed so far. Another hanger option, and certainly my favorite, is ribbon. Over the years, I've used satin and grosgrain, and now velvet, which is my current choice. Ribbon, with its softness and deep, rich colors, provides a great contrast to the harsh, solid tesserae of mosaic. Whether you want a pattern or a solid, thin or thick, wide or narrow, there's a ribbon for whatever your needs are. It can be as inexpensive or expensive as you want it to be. The ribbon options that are out there in the marketplace are truly endless. I love working with it for mosaic ornaments, not only because of the contrast of soft material next to the hard tesserae and substrate, but also it's so easy to work with.
And the end result finishes off mosaic ornaments beautifully. I know I sound very biased, but it's just the superior choice in most cases. Next on the list are embellishments and charms. So these would be things that you would add to your hanger material. So I'm talking about jewelry charms, buttons, beads, tassels, pom-poms, etc. These are embellishments. Now, why would you want to add embellishments to your ornament hanger? Well, it's just an extra pop of color or detail, whimsy, or something that could relate to or enhance your mosaic design. So first, you would want to select the material for your ornament hanger. Oftentimes, embellishments work best when you're using wire as the hanger, and I'll tell you why. With the wire, you can twist and even sometimes knot the embellishments or charms to the hanger to keep them in place. Embellishments and charms are an added touch and demonstrates that even more thought went into your mosaic ornament and the hanger. I'll include a list down below in the description for all of the materials that I used in today's video in case you'd like to make some Christmas ornaments of your own. Question of the day, let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite hanger material that you like to use for your mosaic ornaments? Do you use one of the materials I mentioned today in the video or do you have another one that you like? I would love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload and let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. I have asked my child to please lower his voice while gaming. And he's not doing it. Getting a little annoyed. Yeah. Let's continue. I'm doing a lot with my hands today and I don't know why. I don't know why. Ooh. Can you guys hear him out there? Sure, Mom. Sure. I'll be quiet. Oh, you're going to start filming? Oh, let me... Oh. Get him, get him! Oh, I'm using the blah, blah, blah! Oh, get him, get him! Oh, I got him! Oh, I'm dead. Killing me. Wow. How quickly they forget. I just need you to be quiet for 10 minutes. 10 minutes! You can, yeah, no. Come on, Owen. Please? Y'all, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Enjoy your time with your friends and family and stay safe and be well. I appreciate you. I'm so thankful you're here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And if you'd like to dive deeper into making mosaic Christmas ornaments, you can check out one of these two videos to get started.